I'm going to show you how to create a form in Excel 2010. Uh, I created a template here so that you can see what we're going to be building, the form we're going to be building at the right hand side. I used this form in my Outlook 2010 form template training video. You can view that on YouTube. The first thing I'm going to do is to show you how you can change the column widths and the row heights for any form that you're creating. You can see the column widths and row heights that I've used for the form that is displayed right here. Columns B, uh, 151, C, 214, D, 20.43, E is 2, F is 18.14, G is 1.71. And all of the row heights are 15 with the exception of those in red. Uh, row 2 is 27.75, row 11 is 7.5, 13 is 9, and 17 is 54. To change the column widths and the row heights, you will hover your cursor in the gray area between the columns and once your cursor moves over the bar between the columns it will change to a cross. You click down on your left mouse key and drag the mouse to the right or to the left to change the column width and do the same with the row height. Once your cursor changes from an arrow to a cross you're over the bar between the rows and you will click down on your left mouse key and drag the mouse down to increase the row height and up to decrease it. And you can experiment with different column widths and row heights to suit the form that you will be creating. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to create the outside border for this form. So we'll go over to the right to recreate that border you click down on your left mouse key and drag the cursor to the right and down to draw a square. That's the f where your form is going to be and that's the border you want to create. So when you lift up on your left mouse key, go up to the border tool and choose the down arrow to the right to look at all of these choices. Uh, I'm going to choose thick box border for this particular form. So I click on that and once I click off you'll see that the border has been drawn. Next we're going to create the inside boxes. All the boxes where you want to place information. All the information here is going to be in bold so that the people looking at the form can pick it out easily. The first cell or the first box that we're going to create is a group of merged cells and to do that I'll show you where we're going to create the form on the right hand side. You place the cursor in the leftmost cell and you hold down the left mouse key and drag the mouse over all of the columns that you want to use. And then you let up on the mouse and go up to the border tool and click the down arrow to select a border and we want to use a thinner border so we'll choose outside borders. Okay so you have that border. You want to merge all those cells so you choose merge and center, left justify because we want the information placed in any of those cells to start on the left hand margin. And then we'll choose the border tool and bold to finish that and you'll see that that is drawn. For the next one right underneath that we have a different way uh, to do that same process. We will hold down on our left mouse key to drag it over to the cell uh, to include all of the columns that we want. Right click and from the menu that appears we choose format cells and you can see several tabs here. We'll choose the alignment tab. 
and underneath text control is merge cells and you want to click on that and click OK and that merges all of the cells. Now the default for that is to be left justified so we don't have to choose that over again. We want to put a border around it so we click the same one that we used above and bold and then we'll do the original method here we'll highlight all the cells click merge and center left justify border and bold okay that, those are the top cells that we want to put information in now for these cells down here they're just single cells so we don't have to merge those and we will just click over here where we want that cell to be, that border to be, click on the border tool and bold. And the same with the one underneath that, border and bold, again border and bold. And then we have three over here that we want to create. So we'll click in the cell, click the border tool and bold. And the same here. Oops. And again, border and bold. Now for this cell that we want to type information in, that's a group of merged cells again, so we will do the same thing down here. We'll click on the first cell, hold down the left mouse key, drag the mouse to the last cell, let up on it, and click merge and center and we want to left justify and we want a border around it and we want it in bold. So that puts all of the boxes in the form that you'll need. Next we want to work on the text and you can see when I place my cursor in this cell that the entire phrase while you are out is typed in that cell. This is possible if the adjacent cells are empty. The text will expand into the adjacent cells. The font name is Arial, the font size is 18, and the color is a blue color that I have selected from more colors, and I've chosen the custom tab, and you can move this cross around the color spectrum to change the color to whatever it is that you want. Uh, in this case I've chosen red 50, green 128, and blue 172. And that uh, creates the color that I want to use for this form. So I'll click on OK. Now we can go over to this cell and create all of those things that are uh, in the text here. Bold, the blue color, and the size font Arial 18. However, just to speed things up, I'm going to copy and paste from the old form to the new. And we're going to do the same with contact, but I'm going to show you a little different method to do that. Uh, here, to get the same attributes in this cell, uh, the word contact typed in it, uh, we're going to choose uh, an Arial font 11, bold, and the same blue color. But I'm going to show you a different method. Click on Format Painter. And then once you click on this cell over here in the new form we're creating, it will transfer all of those same attributes to that cell. To prove it, I'll just type in that cell the word contact. and you'll see that all those attributes are in there. It's in bold, the same blue color, and Arial 11. Now I'm just going to copy and paste the words of and phone from the old form to the new one. Copy, paste, click on the cell where that's typed, click copy, and the cell you want to transfer it to, and click paste. Now the text down here is Calibri 10 and bold and you can see it's typed in all caps. We can do that over here, uh, select Calibri, change the font size to 10, 
and type the word in all caps. Or, for the purpose of this video, I can just copy and paste that entire block. So I'm going to do that. I'll highlight the block holding down the left mouse key. Click on copy. Go to the top left cell of the block I want to copy to and click paste. It's just a quicker method. Then for the word message, you can see that's Arial 11, bold, and in the blue color that we've chosen earlier. I'm going to click copy and paste. And there's your form. It's really simple to create a form in Excel, but you just need to be creative, experiment with the uh, column widths and the row heights and the color of the fonts and the boxes that you want to create and you can create a form that works for you.